What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Mishimoto channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install our intercooler pipes for the GR Corolla. So let's get right to it. For the first step, loosen the clamp securing the hot side intercooler pipe to the turbo. Then remove the 10 mm bolt securing the hot side intercooler pipe to the front subframe. Then remove the pipe from the vehicle. After that, remove the 12 mm bolt securing the cold side intercooler pipe to the front of the transmission. For the next step, disconnect the electrical connectors from the AC compressor and engine oil filter housing. Then using a 3 8 square drive, rotate the serpentine belt tensioner enough to remove the serpentine belt. Next, separate the gray and black electrical connectors located above the alternator. Up next, remove the 12mm nuts and 12mm bolts securing the alternator in place. Then remove the alternator and rest it on top of the engine. Remove the 10 mm bolts securing the wire harness tray in place, then depress the tab and lift it upwards to remove it from its mounting bracket. Then you're going to want to disconnect the MAP sensor electrical connector. Unclip the wire harness connector from its bracket. Then remove the 10 mm bolt securing the coolant crossover tube to the intake manifold. Then disconnect the vacuum line. Next, remove the 10 mm bolt securing the wire harness brackets to the intake manifold. Then you can go ahead and disconnect the fuel pressure sensor. Then remove the 10 mm bolts securing the wire harness tray to the throttle body inlet and disconnect the throttle body. After that, depress the locking tabs on the wire harness tray to release it from the throttle body inlet. Next, disconnect the TMAP sensor. Then you can disconnect the starter motor connector and move the harness out of the way. After that, remove the 12 mm bolt securing the intake manifold support bracket to the engine and throttle body inlet.
Then remove the 12mm bolts and 12mm nuts securing the intake manifold to the cylinder head. Remove the four 10mm bolts securing the throttle body inlet to the intake manifold. Next, transfer the gasket and TMAP sensor from the stock throttle body inlet to the Mishimoto throttle body inlet. Then reuse the bolts from the stock throttle body inlet to secure the sensor in place. Next, fasten the Mishimoto throttle body inlet to the throttle body and intake manifold using the previously removed hardware. Notice the slotted mounting hole on the Mishimoto throttle body inlet. Loosely install this bolt to the throttle body and intake manifold first, then slide the Mishimoto throttle body inlet into place. Torque the bolts to 10 newton meters. Reinstall the intake manifold using the previously removed 12 millimeter bolts and 12 millimeter nuts. Tighten the fasteners in the pattern as shown here, then torque the fasteners to 21 Nm. After that, reinstall the intake manifold support bracket to the engine and throttle body inlet using the previously removed 12mm bolts. Then torque those bolts down to 21 Nm. Using two of the provided worm gear clamps and the straight coupler, connect pipe 2 to the throttle body inlet. Next, secure pipe 2 to the front of the transmission with a previously removed 12mm bolt.
Install the longer straight section of coupler 3 to pipe 2 and loosely secure it in place with one of the provided worm gear clamps. Install the other end of coupler 3 to the inner cooler outlet and loosely secure it in place with one of the provided worm gear clamps. Loosely install coupler 1 to the turbo outlet using one of the provided worm gear clamps. Then you're going to want to install the provided bracket to pipe 1 using the provided hardware. Loosely install pipe 1 to coupler 1 using one of the provided worm gear clamps. Then fasten the bracket on pipe 1 to the front subframe using the previously removed 10mm bolts. Do not tighten the bolts because this will be done on a later step. Up next, install the smaller diameter end of coupler 2 to pipe 1 and loosely secure it in place with one of the provided worm gear clamps. Install the larger diameter end to the intercooler inlet and loosely secure it in place with one of the provided worm gear clamps. Then you could tighten the clamps that were previously installed. Once that's done, you can reinstall the remaining components in the reverse of removal. All right, guys, that is it for this video. But if you want to pick up the intercooler pipes for yourself, hit the first link down below in the description, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you all in the next one.